What do you think? You're at the beach? Yeah. <laughs> it's Simon. I don't want that. <laughs> I've never been a fan of Christmas music. What do you mean, Children of the Corn? Garfield. Oh, look what I found. I, I think I'm gonna get a couple of those. Well, no wiper blades, but $70 worth of random stuff. Yeah, get that for your little scooter. That'll make you look even more special. <laughs> Good morning, Chuck here with no time to be sad. Today's gonna be a busy day. I have to take the four tuner to the dealership. My timing belt light came on the, uh, the other day while we were driving on our trip. My vehicle reached 150,000 kilometers. I've driven, that means I've driven 110,000 kilometers in Thailand so far. But uh, it's a three liter diesel engine and yes, it does have a timing belt. So we actually called ahead, actually Paige called ahead to set up a uh, appointment to get it done today. My truck is right there. Of course, I got my little sticker that says I don't have a fever because if I have a fever, what I wanna do is drive to the dealership and have my car worked on and not stay in bed. But sarcastic it's what you got to do in thailand now so anyway we're here and we're going to uh maybe catch a ride look to have a 7-eleven now let's see what's in the 7-eleven they got any leo in here they got some noodle soup that's pretty good coffee I was hoping I would see like a ham and cheese sandwich, but I don't know if they have a way of warming it up. Maybe, who knows, this thing looks pretty intense. Anyway, might have them take us to uh, Big C. There's my mechanic right there, who's uh, hopefully gonna do a great job on my car. I've been a mechanic most of my life, so normally when a timing belt gets changed, uh, we always recommend up front changing the water pump and all the pulleys, the idler pulley and all that stuff, so that there's no surprises later because you, the water pump is right behind the timing belt, so you don't want to get in there and then call your customer because then they think, oh, you're trying to rip me off sometimes. But anyway, they didn't say that, so we'll just let them do what they do in Thailand. But the repair is actually pretty cheap. They quoted Paige over the phone like 5,500 baht, but I know that's not gonna stick. So anyway, who knows? I don't know where Paige is, there she is. Wow, that's a cool looking truck. <laughs> it's like a, like a resort, huh? Let's go look at this truck. Merry Christmas in Thailand. What about this truck? It's like a big sticker. Yeah. You want to get this on the four tuner? Hey, let's do that. No time to be sad. We can get a shiny, like a rainbow color, your favorite, huh? I wonder how much that cost. <laughs> oh, that's this thing right here. What is that, a Camry? The Camrys are expensive, 1.6. So is this like a wrap? It's pretty cool actually, huh? I think I'll have that done to the four tuner. Yeah, let's ask them how much. I wanna know. Hang on. I gotta ask somebody how much. Uh, and they got a lot of stuff in here today. This is the way to go uh, if you don't wanna spend too much. Look, 750,000 baht. That's a pretty good price.
9.19 for a little bit better package. Automatic. Pretty nice truck. It's this is cheap, huh? Mm -hmm. I like it. 9.22. It's $2. It's $4. Let's go how much, I want to know how much the sticker is. I got some ideas right now going through my head. She doesn't want me to video, but got to check out these seats. <laughs> it's carbon fiber. The package, they don't wrap the vehicle here. No. It's like a wrap. But that the basic truck's about six hundred thousand baht, and the low the package they lowered it. They've done a lot of work to it, somewhere around nine nine hundred thousand baht. So still, you're talking under thirty k. So I don't know. I don't have my calculator in my pocket, but I would say like twenty seven thousand U S dollars for that. It's a pretty good price. It's got carbon fiber hood. Oh, that's the company. I'm not really impressed with the wrap job, but I think it looks cool. I don't know how well that would hold up with the heat. What do you think? You're at the beach? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> What are we doing? Oh, I need some money. Are they working on it yet? They sure have a lot of cars here. They give you a free car wash, which is like a really intense detail, but it takes them longer to do their damn car wash than it takes them to fix the car. We have a lot of stuff to do today. They're already calling you. We're here, Goofy Falang in the corner. Yeah. But anyway, we have to do a little bit more Christmas shopping. We've had some people send uh, money through the PayPal for the Christmas party. You guys are friggin' awesome. Um, we've got some big plans coming up. The school doesn't really need a whole lot. We. The last couple of years, we've got them so much stuff like equipment and band stuff. And what's really cool is we got them a, um, what is that called? A ping pong table. And now they're gonna be like, maybe their school's gonna be like divisional ping pong champs. Uh, they're having their finals, I think next week. So that's pretty cool that they they never had that before but now they now they're like champions at it but uh their band equipment's all good i think they said they want they have some big drums that are kind of old so it's like whatever you want just let us know and uh, we'll make it happen because uh you know we want to help out as much as we can but she doesn't need too much so we don't need a tremendous amount of donations from you guys but so a lot of people have sent money for the uh, the neighborhood kids and uh, the mafia party. So anyway, it's going to be a good season this year. Maybe we can get them to give us a ride to uh, Big C. We got a lot of decorations to put up today too, and we took down some of the old Christmas stuff yesterday, or I did yesterday. Free coffee and snacks and whatever you want here too and it's <laughs> okay well while we're drinking coffee and Paige is filling out her little survey I guess we're just gonna wait they've already got the truck in the shop it's a timing belt kit it comes with four items uh, I think probably the pulleys I'm sure yeah. she told Paige but Paige doesn't know and she, the lady can't tell me because she doesn't speak English but I had Paige go ask her about the water pump and she said they'll look at the pump if it's leaking then they'll then they'll recommend it so that's that's it makes me feel better so but it's still as of right now it's like 
57, 5800 dollars. 5800 baht, which is just under 200 dollars for the whole thing or just the labor? The whole thing, yeah, with that location time and it build it up the fiber. That's insanely cheap. Like you can't even buy the belt for that much in America, but I don't know. So <laughs> anyway, what an experience. Easy. So we're just going to wait for it and see what happens. If they got to do more, then we'll just have them take us down the road. But they've already started on it. Oh, and if you call, all you got to do is call and make an appointment and they give you like a 10% discount for making an appointment. Crazy. Actually, that's like, uh, like five Leos right there. That's like five Leos. <laughs> mm. What are you doing? Okay. Well, they're finished and like remarkable time. I've never done a timing belt on a diesel 3.0 liter, so I guess it's easy. Or the guy's like a superstar, really good. He said my water pump looked good, so that's it. Still 5,800 baht, something like that. But we had a 500 baht discount and it's 5,200 baht total. Wow, that's so cheap. Okay, let's go. Where do you want to go now? My little. You're not talk talking. You're not talking today. <laughs> okay. Well, don't think too much, or I'll just drive straight home. Don't think too long. I'll just drive home. It's a big place. This is the park on the back. Oh, okay, let's look at let's look at the park. Normally they escort me out. Let's see what they changed. Hi monkey. Where? In the back of in the back. Maybe it's in the back seat. My look. <laughs> the only time I'm really curious. My head. I want to see it. No. Oh. But it's funny they actually saved the oil too. Huh? I don't know why I have a thing. Oh, power steering fluid or something. Oh, oh no, that's empty. It's empty. Hold that. It's for the windshield. Turn oh, windshield. windshield. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's the belt. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. And then they changed the pulleys. Yeah, very good. Very awesome. When they changed the oil too, they put the like the old filter and stuff all and the empty containers of the oil. I was like, man, you can throw that away. Okay, let's go somewhere. Paige says there's like a gigantic creature in my. It's silent. I don't want that. I don't remember seeing that there. Throw it out. <laughs> it's dead. What are you, a weirdo? <laughs> Everybody thinks you don't like small things. You used to play with it. You used to play with that? It's a toy. Oh, but you didn't play with snails. No, I don't play with snails. I just do kick up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, well, let's go to Tesco here. I actually need to get more wiper blades for my SUV. I change them a lot because that thing up there is hot, really hot, the sun. A lot of time people, when they park their car, they lift up their blades. I don't know, maybe that helps them last longer. I'm not sure. Keep them off the window, it's still hot. 
right. but they don't they don't last rubber and glue and stuff like that doesn't last very long in thailand strangest thing i never experienced that in my life <laughs> we left a we left a bunch of stuff here the last few times when we were visiting thailand only to come back to find that whatever was rubber was like disintegrated and it was strange like i left some really expensive headset let me get my mask on headset here and uh hang on it was all rotten i actually like, put it on my ear and it's like came apart <laughs> but yeah things don't last like that here nothing you can do about it the quality here is a different quality too that actually lasts a little bit longer some stuff what is this okay <laughs> hey do you want to get a super extra large cheesy pizza i'm on a diet just kidding just kidding joe don't get all excited Oh, that's a cool looking pajamas there. I should get that. I'm thinking more like that though. For our next our next road trip, I can wear that. Could you imagine a, ta a big tattooed Falang walking around with a pink flamingo? Maybe that'll make them uncomfortable, huh? As much as I think it's weird for them to wear that for uh, for breakfast. 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 Break fast. Somebody actually sent me like a definition of breakfast. Like, like we were really confused that breakfast didn't actually mean break fast because you're fasting like at least eight hours before you eat again. So everybody probably knew that meant breakfast. <laughs> of course, I'm a sarcastic. I can't say. Of course, I've been called that a few times too in the comment section. I just wanted to come check out this area. It was closed last time. Did Yeah, you remember that? We haven't been here since the COVID, you know? It was all closed last time. All right, let's go just look. We gotta go back over there and get a cart. <laughs> you want some gold? No. You want some cake? Look at that cake. That's a ladybug. A ladybug. Is anybody birthday coming soon? <laughs> There's a bunch of random ones there. Cake mm. no butter cake. Mm. Of course. Oh. <laughs> mm, I'm on a diet. <laughs> Thailand wrapping paper. There's only enough wrapping paper in here to do half of a gift. But Thailand's become really popular with Christmas here since we've been here. I know. I don't remember so much Christmas stuff, but it's all because of the internet. I, I blame it on the internet. Everybody sees all the wonderful celebrations and Thailand loves to celebrate everything. So why not get into the uh, spirit of buying a bunch of crap for people? Some gifts, some gifts. Hey, look, some more Leo cups. Three dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ours is still perfect. Maybe it'll last forever. I don't know, <laughs> unless we lose it. 
I know. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Hey, here's a air fryer. We should probably, yeah, we don't have, we'll never use the damn thing. I always buy stuff and nobody uses it. That shows a pizza. Can you make a pizza in that damn thing? I don't know. No. An air fryer pizza? No. Can't happen. What do you want, a steamer? Blender. Do we need a new blender? I thought we got one. 200 baht, that's actually pretty cheap. Oh, am I not looking at that right? You got 200, this how would you buy something? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't have anything else to do but go home and put up decorations, so boring, boring day. What are we going to go down every aisle? You need another hair dryer? What's wrong with your old hair dryer? It's not hot anymore? Or? Oh, the rolling thing? You don't have any hair, man. Your hair's short. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can get whatever you want. I'm just, I'm kidding. Here's some refrigerators in case you needed to know how much one cost. This one's about uh, $400. A lot of things aren't so super cheap in Thailand. A lot of things. Electronics aren't really that cheap in Thailand. Like this thing right here, you could probably buy at Walmart. I don't know how much, but this one here is about $45 for that. I think you might be able to get it cheaper in America. Maybe not now, I don't know, it's been a while. $13.99. That's a nice looking washer though. Oh. That one's $300. That one looks nice. Babe, do we need a blender? No, I just say it looks better. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You want a pink helmet? Oh, I need some more of this foam. $3 tire shine. For my scooter. Yeah, get that for your little scooter. <laughs> That'll make you look even more special. <laughs> I came in here to get, usually they have 3M wiper blades. I know they have it at our little Tesco, but I don't see any here. Of course, that, means, that doesn't mean they don't have them. It just means that they're probably somewhere else. Yeah. Hmm. Paige is addicted to flip-flops and sandals. I don't see them over there. I have to get them, I guess, in one day whenever we go to the store at, the, at our house. Unless they're put up somewhere else. Who knows? If you ask somebody, they'll go, oh, I don't mind me. <laughs> Mafia put some bowls <laughs> on a hot flame. <laughs> and uh, here. <laughs> and they burnt on the bottom. She heard them go crack, crack, crack. It's like, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for some aftershave found it we'll try that and it's expensive I need to get some old spice they don't sell that here I the shaving cream I've been it, it's, it's keeping my neck like moist I need something uh, yeah you know man thing um, they have quality razors here, but they're very expensive. Last time we went back home, which is the ones I use are these, where they at? Blah, 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 blah. That's okay in a crunch, but I use this, um, hell, I don't even see it. It's a uh, Mach 3 Gillette, but uh, they're expensive here. I've got a, 
like a 20 pack at Sam's back in the US. I still have some from a couple years ago because one razor of those lasts maybe 10, over 10 times, maybe more versus the other one. You have to change quite often. But like this, some stuff, a lot of stuff in Thailand is not cheap. Especially anything that has to come from outside of Thailand. Like this is a Tesco brand. And maybe it's good. I don't know. I've never tried it. That one's okay, but it don't last long. That's just for me. I'm sure somebody will say, try this, try that, do this, do that. But I think we all have different complexions and different... I don't know. I have to shave like... Really, I should shave twice a day. So back about the school stuff. We're going to... We're sponsoring all the food. We've already got them all the shirts. I want them to all have like matching Christmas shirts. And I don't know, ice cream truck. They're pretty good on supplies. So they don't, uh, they don't need anything extra on supplies. But we were going to get, oh, a bunch of like, last year we went to um, Macro and bought a whole bunch of like snacks for the kids. A lot of people gave me crap about that, but these kids don't really get a lot of, these kids are like very poor and it, they don't really have a lot of that stuff. So the one or a few times a year, I can give them that and their teeth aren't gonna fall out, so relax. But uh, I'm not gonna bring them a bag of carrots. <laughs> they, they probably grow them at their house. But uh, yeah, we're gonna buy a bunch of snacks for them to take home. We, we, we had, so much last time we were, there was enough to give the parents a bag too mm -hmm. which was very awesome i've never been a fan of christmas music and when my kids moved out of the house a long time ago i uh when the last one left i gave them all my christmas tree and christmas stuff and said here take these we didn't celebrate christmas because i was just so sick and tired of the, tired of the like commercialism of christmas but uh, it's a little bit different feeling for me now here in Thailand. But in, in America, it, I don't even like to go to the store during Christmas time because people get really, they get weird. They don't get in the spirit of what it's supposed to be. They get in the spirit of, I was here first and that's mine. Get out of my way or I'll step on you. <laughs> that looks pretty good. <laughs> Cookie. Wow, that's cool. It's like tater tots. It's something that's not common here. Of course, they're called chili garlic potato bites. Maybe I'll get to eat that one day. And this is pretty cool. I haven't seen this either. I don't go shopping at this store very much. Don't worry, yesterday I did 150K. Well, actually in two days when I got my tattoo. I did 90 one day and then the next day I did 55. So today I'm getting on the treadmill for an hour and a half. So I can eat food as long as I'm exercising, burning the calories. What do you mean, children of the corn? Feel. Oh, look what I found. Look what I found. <laughs> Tater tots? I got some cheese. I gotta get on the treadmill for an hour and a half first. Because I ordered a small one. I had they got little small big sheets, big roll. I think it's unsafe. Mm. I can get one. Too bad I don't like it. I just want big one. Some Philadelphia cream cheese. I don't think they got that full cheese. That one. For pizza. Mozzarella. Cheddar. 
mozzarella, cheddar cheese, yogurt. yogurt. Let's get yogurt. Yogurt's a good, healthy snack. Okay, you want alicina? I don't know. What does that mean? Zero. That's Is that prune. mon coke? Oh, prune. prune. I don't want prune. Fletching. <laughs> it's kind of small. Oh, that one's 39 bucks. Here we go. This one. I like strawberry. You like strawberry? What about that? Is that? Green apple. Oh wait, that might be better, huh? That's. I don't know. Get the blueberry. What is that? Blueberry? Prune. Prune. What's up with the prune? Okay, we'll get it then. <laughs> Sometimes I'm full of you know what. Paige usually gets this on the road to feed the cats and herself. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bacon. Ham. I've never seen this. I've to got to try it. Maybe you should have it. Strong brew. I don't know if it's dark. I don't know. I don't want to buy a box of it though. What is that? Brown what? Sugar? Brown. Oh. Some pizza chips. Interesting. Well, that Valentine scotch that I got is actually pretty good. The problem is, is going to be able to find it because they don't really sell it that much. I haven't seen it anywhere here in the Compagnon. So I'd have to wait and get it. I, I got it in Muktahan, actually at uh, Tops. So if I ever need it again, I have to go there. But they do have red cock. And black cock. And Johnny Walker is still expensive. This is pretty good too, but it's the same price. The mafia is like wine. Here it is again. I think I'm going to get a couple of those. Maybe one. <laughs> Paid to studying. I don't know either. We're not like wine drinkers. Maybe they can give us a quick wine. That's it. Do they have wine in a bag? I don't know. Spy cooler. Oh. They don't like spy. They don't like spy. Well, no wiper blades, but seventy dollars worth of random stuff. See, in the U.S., when you walk outside with a cart, everybody stops. So you can, but here in Thailand, if you walk out with a cart, you're gonna get run over. <laughs> And everybody's going to probably look at you like you're stupid. I know somebody's going to ask, and you may have already typed it before you got this far in the video, but I didn't get the wiper blades at the dealership because the 3M wiper blades are better and they're actually cheaper than the, I've had the ones replaced at the dealer and they don't last because of the temperature. The 3M ones, they seem to have lasted like four times longer and wiper blades are easy to change. I rode my bicycle up here the other day when I got my tattoo. Don't know if you've seen the video or not. <laughs> I'm trying not to eat like this month I'm gonna try to lose like 10 10 kilogram it's gonna happen 
And as soon as I come around the corner on my bicycle, I see this truck, it's never been there before, with a hamburger on it. I was like, okay, now they have that. But they have so much good food in this town too. But uh, I was like, yeah, that thing looks pretty good actually, but I'm sure it's not anything like the picture. Mm -hmm. See? But maybe next month if it's still in business. <laughs> Over here, there's a little truck that sells like the little Vietnamese sandwiches. And uh, for like 25 baht, uh, yeah, 25 baht for the sandwich, it's, it's pretty good. There's no light here, so it's just kind of like go. <laughs> there's the immigration office. I haven't been there in a long, actually I gotta go there next month. I haven't been there in a year now. Here's the little sandwich. Khao Ji is what they call it here in Isan. It's a Vietnamese sandwich. Yeah, always got a lot of stuff going on here. Who knows? Should have a calendar. They probably do. There's a lot of people out right now. The town is full, the temple is full. I don't know what's going on. It's hard to keep up with all this stuff. My mother-in-law's got her lunch crew here today, every day. There's some flowers on my porch. Yeah, alcohol section. Mm -hmm. I smell fried fish. Yang Kap. Lao. No, wine. Wine for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Or whenever. But my kai again. Aloy. Okay, Don Yen. Don Yen Gin. Aloy. Of course they tried it. Song Song Huat. Wine.
I'm still fat, <laughs> but it's going down. Day number 10 of out of 30. I still have to put up Christmas decorations. Yesterday, me and Paige went to, uh, we went to go check on a hotel because we have some guests coming for New Year's. And uh, we went and reserved a room. There's a newer, a new hotel down on the river. Everything is pretty much booked around here for New Year's, but she uh, had a couple of rooms. We put some deposits down and got that out of the way. So at least I got them on the river. I want them to see the sunrise in the morning. Hopefully it's still clear. But we are here. This is a new home, uh, hotel here in Tapanom. They have a uh, Samla rental. Let's go, uh, maybe you can rent that car too. Thai video, damn cop. Thai video, damn cop. Cop home. Wow, it's new. That's finished. Look, it's sewing machine. Oh, the sewing machine tab. There's, those are everywhere in Thailand. 690 baht. Does it normally come with breakfast? Do you know? No. Right now there's no the breakfast. Yes. Uh -huh. Right Only now there's no bad. breakfast. Yes. 3S bathroom. Yes. No. Pretty common. Countryside. And a balcony for you to yeah. enjoy the view. Mm -hmm. Or wash your feet, whatever you want to do. Mm. Yes. Very good, very clean, very nice. On the river. You want upstairs and the or downstairs for them? I would say probably upstairs for a better view, huh? Okay. Maybe. Okay. What do you think? I know. She said the view up there is a little bit better. Well, I like the. Oh, this is one that Paige would actually pick out because she could have her own, <laughs> her own bed. Very good. Okay, real quick. I know this is a long video. Hey, we got some stuff in the mail. I've been waiting to open it. And we've gotten a few things. And um, I don't remember if I got them on video or not. Who is that from? Let's say who it's from first. Okay, let's open it up. There's no name on the outside. From Norway. From Norway. Very cool. It looks like a Norway flag. And a box. And that's a pretty good size right there. Perfect size, actually. Very cool. Thank you very much. Definitely can find a place <laughs> somewhere to hang it. Let's see who it's from here. Hi, Chuck and Paige. Cannot, cannot see you, cannot see you have the Norway flag on your wall. So send a pair to you to use, send a pair to you, use what fits. We are a couple living in Norway. Peddler, Petter, and Rugnam, Pam. Pam's easy. Hongsen. Petter, 1961, was born and raised in Norway. Pam, 1972, was born in Thailand. And Mukdahan, I moved to Norway when, in the year 2000. We were supposed to be in Thailand on March 2020, but it was canceled due to the you-know-what. So have not been there since, since March of 2019. Pam has family in Mukdahan, and she has built a small house where her mother lives today and where we live when we when we have time we follow your channel no time to be sad almost daily and enjoy their and enjoy their videos it gives us many good times very interesting with all the trips you make in thailand gives us many good travel tips and cozy with the mafia family we have plans to travel around when the time comes we both work a hundred percent so we have little vacation yet only five weeks a year. That's still pretty good. Mukdahan. 
Very cool. I've got a few more friends now in Mukdahan. Um, I go there quite a bit on bicycle rides. I bought that. That is where I got my tattoo. I figured I had to have the picture, right? I just gotta find time to hang it on the wall. Okay, two flags, and now we got something from Lloyd Nadek. Nadek. All right, we got some current events. Come on, babe, I don't want to make this video an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Another letter. The perfect flag. Look at that. I like that flag. Oh, <laughs> Open that up. <laughs> All right. United States Space Force. Actually, that is really cool. Official U.S. Space Force flag. That is really cool. Thank you. And that is Liberty and Prosperity. And what is that from? Jersey. That's the Jersey flag. New North Jersey flag from New Jersey. Well, thank you very much. I'll have to uh, show that off to Joe. It says I have uh, better friends in New Jersey. Thank you very much. <laughs> Greetings from New Jersey. Please enjoy the small New Jersey care pack with the state flag. A sticker of Polly Walnuts Gultry Gultry because I am an I am from New Jersey and the Sopranos. <laughs> a patch from my place of work security team and a flag from the US Space Force that I thought you might dig. I dig it. Where's the patch? I think. Oh, okay. Very cool. I didn't see this from the Norway, the little trolls. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> now, now I can see my Norway trolls. Thank you very much. <laughs> there they are. Very cool. I, that can remind me who I'm talking to when I'm being sarcastic. Just kidding. Mm. Thanks for making such down-to-earth blog. Thank you very much. Chuck, you make a lot of people really happy by just being a good guy and showing that we can all get along if we just realize the humanity in each other. I agree. All the other stuff is really stupid. I, I, you know, a lot of times I say something jokingly in, in my videos and people think, they just make the assumption that, well, you know what I'm saying. It's ridiculous. We really need to lighten up. Now, if I could find a way to send you some good bagels, mozzarella and, gabo and gabo ga gabagool. <laughs> I wish I knew what that meant. I'll have to ask. Google. Yeah, Google, or I'll have to ask Joe. Hope you enjoy all the best. Thank you very much, Lloyd. I appreciate that from Montclair, New Jersey. Thank you. What else do we got here? This is that is from Australia. Dean and Paula from Australia. I can see on the package what it says. It says Vegemite. <laughs> Oh, isn't that sweet? Thank you very much. What is that? That is little Vegemite packs. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. Is it's it... a to-go pack. <laughs> Thank you very much. We did make them to where they were almost tasty one time, right? With a lot of butter, I think, but it was still kind of weird. They were going to have to... Cracker. The cracker was okay. Yeah. Maybe Paul Red will like it. Her dad loved the crackers. Thank you very much. Seriously. I, I know you were kidding. Why is that? Kind of green. Oh. Austra <laughs> An official Australia kangaroo flag. Thank you very much. We got to figure out where to put that. That's kind of funny, actually. Yeah. Yeah, you got a kick. <laughs> Later on, it's gonna be my flag with the snail. <laughs> snail kicking flag. Mm -hmm. That thing is huge, guys. Thank you very much. Okay, I've gotta hang up Christmas decorations and sometime tonight eat dinner. Okay, let's try this beer out. Chim. 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 Chim.
Tongue out, it's a little bit of a head on it. It's like a little bit of a dark beer. It tastes good though, huh? It is a little stronger. Well guys, that's it. I'm gonna end the video. Had a great day today. Sorry for the long video. But hey, I just wanted to bring you guys along. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow on the next video. Yay. Bye. Bye.